are listening to the Pinax Report. Pinax Report. Pinax Report. The Pinax Report. Pinax Report. Pinax Report. Report. Live only on Pinax TV. So finally, GP Dampare was ma- and I was breaking a silence on all of this death prophecy. Now, the Republic of Ghana, uh, your constitution and mandate, is say uh, periodically, you know, uh, we will be a uh, di any ministerial position in the manasi could be any more Ghana uh, once in a while. I am now you be invited to a parliament in your business. Okay, in Jumedina, of course, you know, how is it going? Yeah, to one who take this decision. What has the what is the effect? Okay, so peace, uh huh. All of these things now. I idea yeah, yeah, to keep track with people are uh, yeah, the positions are more more people are or more about where the positions are more almost a bit more track is uh, if they are doing the right thing with Ghana, your yeah, state's resources, money or not. Uh huh. Now, I know more than IGP, I could pay more or some uh, such a public event as uh, a uh, committee event or parliament. I need to turn around now. One of these uh, during this whole uh, interaction and a uh, question and answer. No, and now the question of prophecies a bit film near beside Dampari said, Dampari, what issue do you have for with, with these pastors? Oh, by what a friend is saying, uh, uh, also Bempa, Wako Chiwi, after they also be Obe Obama prophecy, be a better watch, and Obichi will be a what is going on? Do you hate men of God? Is it because we are antichrist and I say you just can't stand them? What is happening? And the IGP Eka said, He doesn't hate them, but but there's a but you go to him, same course, was sorry, by a better was it's the IGP. Uh, is there a ban on false prophecies? Because, uh, you know, it's creating a lot of fear, you know, and panic in the system. You know, so I want to know whether uh, there's a law or, you know, what, whatever the police is doing to at least, you know, minimize the, the prophecies, you know, from... Huh? A lot of them are false, especially, you know. Huh? <laughs> okay. Honorable <laughs> Chair, it's a very difficult question for me. But as a Christian and somebody who also believes in prophecies, and by extension, I'm a prophet in my own right. Because as a son of God, God will always have the opportunity to have engagement with you and tell you things in the future, if only you are ready to listen. But all the issues that we have been putting across as an institution is to prove to everybody that we are not against prophecies. We are talking about communication of such prophecies that will end up creating fear and panic in our society, which is unwarranted. Honorable Chair, it's a simple matter, and it's a very simple matter, and truly is a very simple matter. And what is it? Honorable Chair, before I became IGP, nobody prophesied about me. <laughs> now my IGP, everybody is prophesying about me. I have no problem with it because I'm a public figure. But why should it be such that you found something, God has revealed something to you and you want to share with me. You have to make it a showmanship and tell the whole country that I'm about to die, which of course I'm not afraid because the only thing I'm afraid of is birth because if you don't want to die, you shouldn't allow yourself to be birth. So once I have been born, I'm going to die. So as for death, the only thing I can do is probably become a friend of it so that he can treat me with some leniency. <laughs> but the point is that you go and make such an announcement across the whole world. And I have a wife. I have children. I have a parent who is alive. And I have family members. So every day when I live in my house and I always get up around 3 a.m., are up around 3 a.m. And today I slept up to 5 a.m. My wife will be thinking that I'm dead. <laughs> and this is something she is going to live with for the rest of her life. And why is it that God himself decided not to tell us when we are going to die? It means a lot. And even there, if you have prophecies about somebody dying, 
you have even have a way in our typical Ghanaian environment put it even in proverbs for the person to decipher it but I don't put fear and panic in the person in the person's immediate family in the person's extended family in the whole country and the question is that Rabuche, you are all elected to be members of parliament by our vote and therefore you have been empowered by the constitution and other laws to make certain proclamations which is acceptable but those who are prophets who elected them over my life who elected them over my life to just get out there and make pronouncement about me where i'm not a member of your family i'm not your church member and probably the person might not be even believing in God. And how can a family meet? And that family is not thinking about eight members, but is thinking about outside people who are not related to the family. And be able to get revelation about those people and share it out there to create cause, I mean, cause fear and panic. And the point, another point, all this matter, we have decided not to talk about it. We are deep-seated Christians that we don't joke with godliness. But we also will not allow anybody to use God to create a mess and confusion because God is not a God of confusion and God is not a God of disorderliness. So the final point we are making is that, Honorable Chair, imagine somebody says that from the beginning of this year, so the time we are in Easter, 90% of markets in Accra are going to be bent. And you say it's a prophecy. Nobody has appointed you to go and make that communication. Imagine how many people will be going to the market every day thinking that they will don't come back. Imagine they come to say that you travel from Accra to Kumasi in the first half of the year. There will be 1,000 accidents and almost about 1,000 people will die. Imagine what will happen. So the only point we are saying is that we don't know what language God speaks and who interprets it for who. But the point is that if God speaks to you and then you go out there, find us the same God to give you guidance as to how it should be communicated, that will not affect the life of individuals in a manner that will put them in fear, put their media family in fear, the extended family in fear, the country in fear. Why is at the same time making sure that when it all settles, you ask yourself the same God can give direction on the same matter differently. So all what we are saying is this. We are not against prophecies. Go ahead prophesy, but when God speaks to you, carry it in a manner that will ensure the sanctity of our nation called Ghana. And that is simplicity. Mr. IGP, uh, is there a ban on false prophecies? You are listening to the PNAX Report. PNAX Report. PNAX Report. The PNAX Report. PNAX Report. PNAX Report. PNAX Report. Live, only on PNAX TV.
You are listening to the PNAX Report.